Hi there, this is just a short video demonstrating some enhancements we've done recently for some customers using the power of the Twilio messaging APIs. So the first example is going to be the number lookup and this lets you uh, verify a number and get some details about that number. Maybe you want to know that it's a uh, cell number or a mobile number and you might also want to optionally check uh, some information about the uh, customer behind the number. So this little sample file lets us demonstrate this. We've got our Twilio uh, credentials um, up the top here and I've just put in a phone number here. Uh, this is actually the landline number for the FileMaker Inc headquarters in the United States. So I'm just going to click the uh, lookup number and it's queried the Twilio API and it's come back with some uh, details here and you can see I've passed out the carrier, Pacific Bell, and the uh, type and this is a landline so I can't uh, use that number to send an SMS or an MMS message to. So that's good information to know so I could skip that record if I was doing a bulk SMS. Uh, let's change that number to say my uh, mobile number here in Australia and we'll click lookup number again and this time it's come back and it said it's a Telstra is the carrier and it's a mobile number so I know that that's a uh, valid number to send an SMS or an MMS message to. Now the second uh, example I want to demonstrate here is getting incoming messages or uh, replies so normally we would use the uh, webhooks feature and uh, we supply the PHP files for that when you buy our FMS solution and they push uh, incoming replies automatically to your uh, FileMaker server. However there may be times when your server's down or your internet connection goes offline and you're not able to receive those um, webhooks from Twilio. So this lets us query the uh, Twilio API for any messages uh, received on a date and we can just pass those out. So I've put in a date here, I'll just click this uh, get replies for date button that's going to query the Twilio API and you can see it's come back and uh, two messages were received for that date. So uh, those dates are in uh, UTC time so you have to do a bit of uh, time zone conversion for your local time uh, zone. But, but that's how easy it is to uh, query for replies and look up numbers from FileMaker using the Twilio API. Thanks for your time.